My name's John Baker and my script is called Malfeasance. Malfeasance tells the tale of a Derry summer that was just too hot. Of a policeman, Inspector Billy Byrne, a nice man. Of his Sergeant Andy, the hero of the tale. And of a fixer, Ruby, who's also a doctor and an anaesthetist. It's also the tale of a crooked, knee-deep in a Ponzi scheme Frenchman called Claude. Of a bumbling gang of hired thugs. And of a serial cat killer that no one can catch of the gambling addicted priest Father Finbar, of a whole host of seemingly unconnected people and events that bit by bit will piece together into one deliciously Fargo-esque British crime story. But most of all, it's about our hero Andy, a man who becomes so much more than he ever thought he could be. The inspiration for this script was a super hot summer, um, a heat wave from my childhood and a red tube train. Um, I often work from kind of memories or bits, bits that just have come to mind. Um, and I think this came to me while I was running one day and a script developed from there. Interestingly, it changed a whole, whole load along the way and has nothing to do with the red tube train. Um, but <laughs> what the final script does still have is that kind of emotion and that feeling of that claustrophobic hot summer. I started writing uh, with uh, radio scripts and wrote a billion half hour sitcom spec scripts um, for Radio 4, which eventually a couple got made into non-broadcast pilots. That was like just like a huge grounding in um, structure, um, comedy and and kind of writing a really tight script and it taught me loads um, but it was quite limiting in kind of tone and style and I wanted to write the kind of stuff I enjoyed watching on TV so I wrote a TV spec an hour long one and that won a competition and then that got me my agent my fab agent Emily and got optioned um, and things kind of kicked off from there I should say I'm also um, a doctor and I'm still working at A&E um, and, and the medical management, so I'm kind of juggling a day job and the writing job. Um, and this has been a really busy year, um, all the more so because the writing career really kicked off when I got asked on to the Killing Eve final season writer's room right at the um, start of the COVID wave one, which was a major challenge for me on all fronts. Um, fortunately, I was desperate for and had a couple of weeks leave and managed to do it during that time and since then loads of doors have opened and I've now got various projects um, underway. I have a big book adaptation I'm working on with Sunny March and a streamer. Um, I have a script I'm developing with another big uh, UK network. I've got a succession-y, doctory thing which is just heading off to networks, a um, comedy script as well. Um, love writing dramedies so it's a half hour um, about a couple getting back together and a couple of other juicy things which of course I can't tell you about. My writing process is um, I guess probably a little bit different to some people. I've got a busy day job still and so I guess my key thing is I will write like literally anywhere, kind of anytime, on the tube, in the bath, in bed, coffee shops, in front of the TV, I guess just so I can grab every bit of time <laughs> that there is. And I do it all um, on my iPad in Final Draft and in Word. I just find that that keeps me, keeps me um, productive and lets me write in small bursts, which is how I kind of find I get things done. Um, and to that end, I've always got a ton of different projects on the go so I can spin back and forth between them. And I find that keeps me kind of fresh um, and interested. Um, and, and, and the day job is also fundamental to it as well because I'm always meeting different people and I've got a constant kind of source of characters. And if, yeah, if you were to ask me about process itself, I guess it's all about those characters and character is for me, um, everything in all the stories. So it's normally about finding those characters first um, and then often mashing them together with um, 
with a memory or some kind of vivid kind of idea or, or scene like the heat wave in my script malfeasance um, it's all about capturing that kind of capturing that kind of essence <laughs> and, and special thing that's how I write most of my work is um, TV hour long or, or half hour I do of course have a few feature ideas percolating away for a rainy day but yeah mainly TV for me In terms of projects and what I'm drawn to, what I enjoy doing, what I love to do, um, I guess for me everything has to have some humour in it. Uh, I love kind of funny drama, so Succession, White Lotus, Guilt for a UK reference, Fargo in all its forms, that's my kind of um, happy space. I do love a half hour dramedy and there's so many fab ones from the US, so that's the other kind of, I guess, tool in my, my um, armoury. Um, I think writing stories that make you laugh and cry and I guess I try and do that in um, in every project and almost it's kind of something I try and tick off in every episode because that, that's what I like to watch. So yeah, laugh, cry, some naughtiness, darkness in the mix, that's my kind of project. <laughs>